How can you counter the drift of mediocre leadership and act with a sense of urgency? I'm Greg Schenkel, president of Unique Training and Development and Frontline Leadership Systems. And today I want you to think about how much or how far or how long your organization can delay and taking the actions that would boost your leadership effectiveness. Now what you can see on screen is I've got this counter the drift of mediocre leadership model. And I want you to see that what we have is a pretty straightforward timeline. We have the current situation, right? The current situation, which is where you're at now. And of course, like all time, until we have a time machine, it's basically going to follow a progression in a direct straight line to somewhere in the future, right? So that part we know, you probably can't argue with that. But I want you to see the two dimensions that we have is that some frontline leaders are in what's called the red zone and they're basically buddies. They're just trying to be friends with the guys that they lead. They're really not inspired to do things. They don't love the job of being a leader. And the challenge is if you're going to go from where your organization is right now and you're going to uh, go down towards that buddy line, I, we know that it's not even necessarily it's not a straight line of decline. It actually follows a curve. So it starts out okay, and then it gets progressively worse and curves down till you get to that buddy position. So it's like a compounding, but in a negative way. We would call that drift. Your organization will drift in that way as long as you tolerate unacceptable leadership behaviors or if your people just don't know any better, they're going to drift. At the same time, is there's another alternative, there's another path that people can take. And that's to go from where your organization is right now, and instead of a declining curved line, it actually is a compounding up curved line. And that's where you get to the level of leader. Now you might say, well, leader, isn't that just a generic term? Well, actually, no. When we're talking about leaders, we're talking about people that have gone even beyond being heroes where they're solving problems for their team. We're talking about people who are inspiring excellence, who other people want to emulate. So we're talking the exceptional level of leadership. But again, like the drift line, this is now a success line as we move forward and up on that line. Now, you might say, okay, I get it. So we can either be drifting towards mediocrity or we could be riding the curve up to excellence. What choice would we like to make? Well. I want you to know most organizations, they think about this a lot, but they often wait a long time before they take action. So I want you to see something. The further on that we get in the curve, I want you to see the distance between here and here. It's very wide. In other words, if the leadership continues to deteriorate over time and we need to bring it back, we're going to have to use heroic measures just to get back to being an acceptable level of leadership. So where are these two lines closest? Well, they're closest right here. That's the easiest place to jump the line. It's the easiest time to move from the line that drifts into mediocrity, where people stay buddies, and your culture scores start to get ruined, and your turnover rates jump, and your retention rates drop. It's the easiest time to move people onto the green line of success and excellence. And our job is really to help supervisors get on that green line, either through our leader feeders or through the many training programs that we offer, and help your organization stay on the green line of success. We give you the skills that your people need. We give them the motivation and the inspiration that they need to do the right thing. And they become those kind of inspirational leaders. So how long can your organization really wait before it makes the commitment to get on the green line of success to having magnetic and emulating leaders. Well, hopefully if you see the same thing I see, is the time to take action is right now. And of course, to do that, all you have to do is start a conversation with us. And you can do that at uniquedevelopment.com. We'd love to talk to you about how we can help you grow the frontline leadership skills to have a truly successful team that drives organizational excellence.